Welcome back to yet another segment on Gauss switch and elimination. So we have another system here which I would like just like to us to go through very quickly as we move on to something else. So we saw something similar similar to this in the last example. But now I'd like to make a, some a few clarifications here. So in here I called the equations rows however i think they really write it or ideally they are still the equations okay this is the equations ideally we should have instead of using r1 maybe i could have used e1 just replace the r with e e e but the reason that i didn't want to use this is i think somewhere e is going to represent something else so i think that is why i avoided using it however ideally as long as we still have the unknowns there we are dealing with the equation so what we are simply doing here is replace the equation one with the equation one replace the equation two with the equation two and then equation three replace it with the equation three plus three times equation two okay that is what we do then here uh, here that was it then here it is like replace equation one with itself then replace equation two with negative three times equation one plus that and so on but we are going to stick to the rows and i will bring in something new here which we call the augmented matrix so now this is what we are going to do we don't need the unknowns anymore we are simply going to be like you saw in the previous example all the operations are just basically on the on the coefficients all right so for that reason we are if we have such a problem here we shall simply write down the matrix for the system and the matrix for the system will consist of the coefficients of the unknowns so for that matter we shall have the coefficient of x1 here we have one and then the next coefficient is one and take note of the positives mm. ah this is not a very good example because everything is positive 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 i wish we had something which was negative anyway just take note that the signs for this positive one positive one and then positive one and then below it you have positive one positive two positive two and then we have one we have two then we have three so we are going to use this vertical bar to you know to, to, to separate the system coefficients from the right hand vector so this matrix which is written in this form is the augmented matrix okay and uh, so if you see something which is written in the form a and then we have like that this is the augmented matrix because uh, what are we going to say the right hand vector the b this is the right hand vector and then the capital a consists of the coefficients uh, the coefficients okay remember we say that the coefficients okay we can say that a is the matrix which has this coefficient which you wrote a11 and so on a1n and so on AMN, okay, the general case AM1 up to AMN, so this is it, and then the B is simply B1 up to BM, so this is how we are simply writing it with the bar. So we are only interested in the coefficients here, and so with this, now we can comfortably stick to our terminology of just calling it this the row one. This is the second row and this is the third row, okay? Without fear of having to make any errors in in how we are calling these whether they are rows or equations. Some people put a lot of emphasis on how do you call this? You have to use the right name for this. Yeah, and it is important, by the way, for us to do that so now basically here we do the same what we have been doing like top to bottom left to right select the pivot so step one select the pivot set everything below it to zero okay so what does that mean it means that uh, row one 
remains in row one. And what do we have for row one? Oh, we have one throughout. We have one, one, one. What is below row one? It is one. How do we make it run to zero? We can replace. Um, we can replace row two with itself plus negative row one. In other words, multiply row one by negative, add row two, and then put the result in row two. Multiply by negative and add, get a zero. Okay. Multiply by negative and add two, so negative one plus two. Get one and then multiply by negative and add we get one I forgot that has to be there and then we multiply by negative one and add we get zero so here oh it's still one we can as well do the same we got row three we replace it with itself plus minus row one it's the same multiply by negative one and add here we get zero okay multiply by negative one and add two we get one positive one then multiply by negative one and add three we get positive two multiply by negative one and add one we get zero new pivot this is the new pivot make this one to zero so how do we make it run to zero so we are going to say row one then row one okay uh, row two and then in row three we are replacing row three with itself plus a multiple of row two which is negative row two plus row three so we have this remains as it is and then these two remains as it is and then when multiply by negative and add we have zero multiply by negative one and add we have zero multiply by negative one that's negative one and add two you get one suppose we multiply by negative and add there's nothing that changes that is zero so we can use back substitution and then here you can see that you can if squeeze it here okay you can multiply by negative two this is one so from here you can say that from uh, R3 from row 3 we say that is x not x1 rather x3 equals to 0 and then from R2 we see that we have x2 plus x3 equals to 0 x3 is already 0 therefore x2 is 0 and then from R1 we have X1 plus X2 plus X3 equals to 0 this is already 0 this is already 0 therefore X1 is equals to 0 therefore if I haven't made a mistake in my computation here I have that X1 X2 and X3 is zero this has a special name in linear algebra we say that this system only has the trivial solution 
a solution which is all 0, 0, 0 is the trivial solution, the zero vector. Okay.